Seriously, it's the third time they've watched it this week. I bet it's going to end another argument again. And why does it always have to be so loud? Do I really need to get my bow? We'll be back after this break to talk about which is better. Werewolves or vampires? Until then, enjoy a live report from the fields of Cyrodiil. Oh, hi. There's no suspense there. You're right. Even this one knows that werewolves are better than vampires. Hold on. I think I might have misheard you. Because anyone with sense about them would know that vampires are better because of their amazing skills. If those skills were running away and dying to any torture, Carrie, then I'm sure they are. But the real final nail in the coffin that makes them less superior is that their ultimate is just too expensive. When you have more cunning than the entirety of the Thieves' Guild, you can afford to have a more expensive taste when it comes to ultimates. Ah, good timing, Rose. Who do you think stronger? If you're asking me who's the strongest, the Morong Tong, hands down. Um, Rose, do they even let vampires in the Morogdong? Who knows? But I wouldn't let them in. Filthy creatures they all are, full of bloodlust. Hey! Oh, not you. You've got your bloodlust under control. I could learn a thing or two from you. Otherwise, I'm going to kill him. And who would that be? Oh, uh, no one of importance. Oh, I'm important. Oh, yes, you are. Now tell me, who do you think stronger? Well, that can vary depending on the skills and if you use a mythic item called the Shapeshifter's Chain. Of, of course, course you'll no help. There's also the different stages of vampires oh, and don't get, get stronger started. as you get more Everyone out there in Cyrodiil is running around Seriously, that's now. enough of your bickering. We're going to go get this chain and you're going to duel it out and see which one is the best. Now be quiet. Robert, where's the first piece? Hold on, Rose. Just give me one second. I just want to remind our fellow adventurers out there that we do have timestamps in the description down below. So if you're just here for the info or just want a certain lead, feel free to use those to get you where you want to be. We will start the hunt for this mythic right over here in Blackwood. We're going to want to head on over to a public dungeon called the Silent Halls, which is just south of the small town of Gideon, right here. This is where we're going to be picking up the reinforced clasp anchor. If you're a green pack following Bosmer, then you'll have to ignore the distress calls from the trees just long enough to beat any of the five bosses in here to get your lead. It's okay, Planty, it's okay. Calm down, I'll keep you safe. Seriously, Robert, you can't talk to plants. You're just as crazy in the head as this boss me behind me. That's just because of the tree speaking. Got to be in the right state of mind for tree speaking. Oh, right, you can't hear it. Most folks can't hear trees. The easiest bosses to get to are the ones right here in the first part of this public dungeon. If you go over here to the right, you'll see an Argonian behemoth named Kalkul. And if you go to the opposite side, you'll find the Silent Sentry. When you finally do manage to get that lead, you'll want to head on over to Cragmore. We're looking for a delve called Hercene's Haunt. It's located north of Belkarth, right here. This is where we're going to find the Chain of the Werewolf. Alright Rose, you ready to get one of those bosses in this group delve for me? Nope. Group delve everybody, Hercene's Haunt. Great benefits, possible lead. We don't carry you, you carry us. Skyreach carries 5k apiece. Ooh, that sounds like a good deal. I'll take five. We've got to know <laughs> two runs. Sounds like he's got your beat, Rose. Anyway, you can actually get the lead from any of the bosses in here, but I like to get my lead from Old Ironhead, which is that fierce looking crocodile right behind me. You know, fighting dangerous animals like this reminds me of the time I was down in Orsini. This is story time, Mom. Stop oh, stalling. Let's get the lead already. You know what? You're right, Rose. But after this, we need to go to a dungeon down in Cold Harbor. Oh, you mean the Vaults of Madness. I know where that is. That's right over here on the map. That's where we get the Chain Bone Goliath. Oh, you're so close, Rose. The lead's actually called the Chain of the Bone Goliath. Same difference. Doesn't matter. What are we doing here anyways? Oh, what is that? That's hmm, enough I wonder if there's another way to get to Finally, the ah, I'm sure we'll there. figure it out here in a second. Oh, hold on, Rose. Come so on back over here, fast. Treasure? Not a I should have known it was too good to be true. After you have dropped in, <laughs> you're going to want to make a push to this dungeon's many dangerous foes so that you can try to get the lead from the final boss, the Mad Architect. Now, don't get discouraged if it doesn't drop the first time. It only took me about 41 runs to get mine. Just keep on trying until you pry that lead from its old dead fingers. God. Now on to the He's next gone. one. This one's located all the way over in Western Skyrim. This is the zone where we're going to find the lead for the Chain of the Vampire. <sighs> Western Skyrim? Is this where we got the door from Mount? You're on your own. It's freezing. I'm making a fire. Oh, wait. Are those marshmallows? Can I have one? First you did my money and now you want my marshmallows? These are just for me. Oh, you distracted me and now they're ruined. While Rose is having her toasty treat, we're going to go ahead and make our way to any of the Harrow Storms within the area, as completing any of these would give us a chance at our lead. After you and a few of your fellow adventurers have wrapped some of these up and you've gotten your lead, you'll be ready to go ahead and move on and get the final piece, which is right over here in Glenumbra. It's deep within a dungeon called Spindle Clutch 2. It's located right about here on the map. 
This is where we're going to find the lead for the length of sharpened spikes. Like most leads that you find within a dungeon, this one drops from the last boss. After you've ensured the only thing this fangbanger is going to suck is dirt, you'll be ready to head on over to Blackwood and dig up your leads. And as always, when you dig up that last piece, you'll be given access to this amazing new mythic item. This thing is amazing if you're a werewolf or vampire, as it reduces the cost of your transformation abilities by 15%. And on top of that, while you're transformed, it'll increase your base stats like health, magic, and stamina by 1,707. I bet you're saying to yourself right now, man, there seems to be no downside with this mythic. Well, that's where I'd have to disagree, because in my opinion, I think there is, and it all boils down to your playstyle. What I'm trying to say is that if you're not a werewolf or vampire, or you are, but for some reason you don't use your transformation skills, you'll never see the benefits of this ring. Alright, that's enough out of me. Get out there and fight tooth and nail to see who's better. And that wraps up another guide. We appreciate you hanging out with us until the end. It helps us more than you know. We also want to thank you for helping us grow to almost 400 subscribers. So if you found our content entertaining or helpful, feel free to give us a like. Heck, while you're down there, why not subscribe and leave us a comment on what you think is better, werewolves or vampires? Also, if you're on the hunt for more mythics, or just want help with crafting surveys, you can find them in the playlist right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to go on a wild hunt for a ring. We hope to see you in the next one.